Hello, today we'll be covering the Satellite 6.2 feature, Pixielist Discovery. Pixielist Discovery enables new provisioning use cases greater than the ones that were previously existing. It provides a single ISO allowing provisioning in environments that have DHCP but do not have Pixie, or in environments that have static IP addressing and neither have DHCP nor Pixie. Using Pixielist Discovery, provisioning can be fully or partially automated using discovery rules which were introduced in Satellite 6.1. Next we will show a demo of Pixielist Discovery. In this demo, we'll be covering the Pixielist Discovery feature of Satellite 6.2. Setting up Pixielist Discovery is rather simple. After installing Discovery, we need to configure a subnet so that we can use Pixielist Discovery with. We head over to Infrastructure and Subnets. In this example, we'll be using the subnet 172.17.15.0, which will be configured for static IP provisioning. As you can see, we've defined the various parameters of the subnet, including a network address, network mask, gateway address, and DNS server, set the IPAM style to none, and the boot mode to static. In addition, on the Capsules tab, we need to ensure that our satellite or capsule is listed as the discovery capsule. After that is done, all that is needed is to boot a host from the discovery ISO. I already have, have booted a system with the discovery ISO. We're going to walk through setting up the system to, conf to speak to the satellite server for discovery provisioning. In this example, we'll be using static IPs, so therefore we'll select manual network setup. As you can see, we have one interface, but if you had multiple interfaces, you can configure them here. And now we'll provide the IP address configuration. Next, we need to provide the URL for the satellite server or proxy that is functioning as the discovery uh, capsule. Select Next. We have the option of providing custom facts, which can be used during provisioning via discovery rules or also uh, for puppet modules. We can go ahead and provide those custom facts at this point in time. In this example, we will use no custom facts. Lastly, we can see the status of our discovery pixelist provisioning. The system is currently waiting to k-exec into the Anaconda installer. If we needed to troubleshoot, we have the option of enabling SSH, collecting uh, logs from the systems, as well as seeing the system facts that are reported. We'll head over to the satellite UI to host discovered hosts and we'll see that we have a new discovered host here. I can go ahead and provision this host manually. Also, if I had auto provisioning rules set up, this host could be provi provisioned automatically. We'll go ahead and select provision. We'll give this host a name. Let's say I'll make it a web server. Select the host group for the system. Ensure that the system has all of its required parameters for provisioning. The operating system, partition table, and then lastly, we'll press submit to provision the host. As you can see, after the host is provisioned in the UI, it will immediately k-exec into the Anaconda installer and begin its provisioning. This concludes this demo.